Pies. I think they've been very impressive all year. The Adelaide game, they fought back well after being down by a number of goals. So we, we know we're in for a hell of a fight and we're up against the sides in third place. And, but I think that's what it does show you. The competition is, is evening. Well, you can hear that match live here on Fife the Belay tonight. Meantime, Geelong's Mitch Clark has been ruled out of tomorrow's clash against Richmond with a foot injury. And Adelaide United will welcome back a host of stars, including Marcelo Karuska, Nigel Bogard and Awa Mobile. That's for tonight's knockout final against Brisbane at Adelaide Oval. And that's the Fife Double A sport. Now the Fife Double A weather. Receive a free Fujitsu prepaid Visa card up to $400 when you buy a reverse cycle inverter split system at the good guys. See in store for details. Cloud increasing today with a top of 23. Tomorrow partly cloudy, 21. Much the same Sunday, 20. Becoming windy for Monday with a shower or two and 22. A shower or two for Tuesday, then a possible shower Wednesday and Thursday with temps back in the mid-teens. Currently it's 8 degrees. More news as it happens on 5AA. This is 5AA Breakfast. Thanks to Jeep. For superior performance and rugged capability, test drive the all-new Jeep Cherokee at your local Jeep dealership. Yeah, good stuff from Annie too, uh, telling us about the weather. Beautiful day today, tomorrow. A little bit cooler on Sunday for Showdown 38, but it is going to be fine, which is excellent news at 6.36. Well, it's time now to jump across the ditch, as we do every Friday, to talk to our good mate Selwyn Manning from EveningReport.nz. Selwyn, how are you, mate? Yeah, pretty good, Dave. Good to hear you back. Yeah, no, good to be back. Hey, uh, so well, this is a really interesting story, and it's something that's often debated here in South Australia about what we do with all of our public housing stock, the Housing Trust, as it's known here in South Australia. What are the Kiwis doing with theirs? Yeah, the, um, well, really, the, the government is moving to uh, to privatise. Um, it's the strongest message yet that the government has sent, and that was yesterday, basically, that it's going to look at over the next 10 years, should it stay in power, I might add, um, that it's going to be placing into a private company of which it will part own with Auckland Council thousands and thousands of uh, state houses here in New Zealand. Uh, in Auckland, the government currently owns, Dave, one in 16 homes. So you're talking a huge, huge amount. In previous governments, they've viewed state housing here in New Zealand as the backbone of the country's rental housing market. And what it means, basically, is over, over decades, going way back to the 1930s, millions of New Zealanders, including, I might add, the current Prime Minister, grew up in state-owned homes. Um, and that obviously makes um, affordable rents and helps those families get ahead, Dave. Yeah, just thinking, well, one in 16, that seems to be a staggeringly high proportion of public housing stock. The government will be sitting on a bit of a gold mine if it sold all those houses off. Yeah, I think in some ways what it's doing is it's seeing its opportunity to really address its ideology, one of private enterprise um, moving state involvement in the communities out of the picture and also cash in on some of those huge housing values and those climbs. Um, what we saw last week is the government approved $200 million loan to a new company. This is the company I mentioned in the introduction there um, for it to purchase, this new company to purchase homes off the government. And it's focused on three suburbs in East Auckland that are you know, they're, they're low socioeconomic suburbs. They have a hard time out there. And the government has been um, identified 3,000 homes that that new company at part owns will, will purchase off it, if that makes sense, and that money-go-round kind of thing. Hmm. Then it's going to, uh, over the next 10 years, it reckons it will turn those two, um, 2,700 of those 3,000 into around 7,500 homes, so meaning it's going to jam in a whole lot of others. Two-thirds of those will be sold off to private private um, homeowners, um, the other third will remain in this company's kind of control. Now, the whole thing really turns um, the, the whole picture of state housing and affordability into an uncertain pattern, Dave, in the sense that at the moment there is a policy and the law requires state house tenants to pay only a proportion of the household income. Now, of course, going into a, a company's ownership, it can basically, if it wishes to, at a time when the political environment is advantageous to it, it can start to charge market rents to those tenants. Mm. Gee. Hey, so when a, a photo has emerged, which has got, uh, it's gone viral, and it's got people asking questions of these two superstars featured in the photo, are they friends or is it a little bit more? 
Yeah, you know, social media is such a weird thing at times, Jane. Um, <laughs> this, this here, um, it's about New Zealand singing sensation Lord, you know, spelt L-O-R-D-E. Um, she won Grammy and things like that last year um, and has just been doing great things. Now, she's long said to have had a friendship with Taylor Swift, and there was a photo that was released midweek this week with her, um, Taylor Swift sitting on a trike, like a some sort of great big long elaborate kind of bike or truck tandem type size thing but with two wheels on the back and she's sitting on that and there's a group of friends around Taylor Swift that uh, Lord's lying on the or resting on the ground kind of on, on an elbow and holding a foot now I wouldn't think much of this but social media has absolutely taken this to extreme and suggest that there's a little bit more to the friendship than just a friendship so <laughs> you know but it's, a, it's a weird one I don't know what you people think of that one but I um, thought uh, t- isn't Taylor Swift going out with Calvin Harris the the the, uh, the DJ? Yeah, I, I, I just the... can't. I can't keep up with it, Dave. You no. know, it just it goes on and on and on. <laughs> one one of the reporters at the New Zealand Herald said yesterday that you know it might be simply that Taylor Swift couldn't balance on the bike properly or the trike. Um, so the the photo was taken and Lord was just helping her out by giving her a balance by rest, you know, <laughs> giving her a, a, a donkey. <laughs> A donkey, yeah, that's the way. But um, you know what social media is like? It'll yeah, no, exactly. play it up, it'll play it up. Absolutely. Selwood Manning from Evening Report. Dot NZ, always good to talk to you. Thank you, mate. 640.